What's up guys, it's your boy once again with another video. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are back in the dungeon with more lights this time. We actually uh, put some more bulbs and there as well. And we gonna go through again my pool workout that I did way back, I don't believe. I think I believe it was in the beginning of the, when I got, since I got back from England, around there, like, Many months ago, yeah, that's that's my point. Nothing has changed that much, but some things have changed. And to be honest, I don't, I cannot think of any other video to make at the current moment, let's say, in, and in the current situation that we're in. Uh, so probably I might go through all the workouts again. I don't know, but this week at least we got pull and triceps, so it changed a bit from just pull. Uh, we don't do biceps at the end, we do triceps. I'm gonna explain to you the details and what changed and why it changed and stuff like that. But let's get right into it. First exercise, pull-ups. Let's go. Okay, so here we're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 uh, reps at each set. And I'm gonna keep this time, I'm gonna keep the video this time a bit raw. So maybe I'll put some music in the background from my phone but I will not put music in the video probably so you can see all the hardcore shit Okay, so I guess I'll talk, I'll talk you through between the exercises, so I'm gonna show probably one set of each exercise. Some changes we made is, at least at this workout, is that we do four exercises for the back instead of five, and we, to keep the volume relatively the same, uh, we add two sets in two exercises, and the exercises themselves have changed a bit. So we do four exercises and in two exercises we do four sets. You're gonna see which exercises we're gonna do four sets on. I'm gonna say when we come to this. Okay guys, so just finished with uh, pull-ups. Now I'm gonna move on to second exercise. It's gonna be bend over row. So with the barbell, we're gonna put around 85 kilos on top. Why am I talking like that? Okay. And we're gonna do three sets here as well because you cannot do four in this one. It's, it's a compound, it's exhausting, fatigue builds up, and I will not be able to perform in the next exercises. So, three sets of here again around 10, 10 to 12, maybe a bit more, something like that. We're gonna see, let's get it. Okay, so we managed to put actually 87.5 kg. So, let's get it started. For the first set. I don't need too much forward and downward because of my lower back. Okay, so the first set went well as you saw. Uh, another tip that I want to share with you is, okay, so you ask, why did you do pull-ups first and then the bend over all? So, 
Reason number one, I guess it, it is because pull up is kind of an easier exercise. Not that much, but it's easier, less weight. It's not that much of a compound in contrast with a bend overall. Like, you don't, it's not that taxing. No, it's not that much of a compound. It's not that taxing. Like, the bend overall is much more taxing to your lower back and to your upper back, of course, and your lats. But most importantly, I do it because I don't feel the actual mind muscle connection with my lats. So if you have that problem too, uh, I suggest do a specific lat movement, which is a lat pull down. Not that, it's, that it is in isolation, but it targets the lats more than the bend over row. So when you actually go to do the bend over row, you feel your lats more contracting and stretching and working, actually. So yeah, if you have trouble getting the mind muscle connection to your lats, do the pull-ups first and then do the rows. Okay guys, so moving on to chest supported rows. This exercise we're gonna do four sets and in the next one, which is the last one. And yeah, we're gonna target a bit of lats. Of course, you're gonna target a bit of lats and mostly the upper, like mid traps, mostly for that thickness. So you get the dumbbells, you go right here, and you roll. So at this exercise, I will tell you to go slow and maybe do a small pause at the top, like two seconds, so you reassure yourself that you are squeezing hard enough at the top of the movement, because that's when you feel it the most. And then of course do a slower uh, eccentric, like the down or part of the movement, the stretching. Okay guys, last exercise is going to be uh, dumbbell pullovers. So that's the maximum of what amount of weight that I can put on here. It's about 27 and a half. And we're gonna do as many reps as possible, probably around 15, maybe a bit less. And we're gonna do four sets here as well. And then we will move on to real delts. A tip before I start my set would be to, if you wanted, you could start with this instead of pull-ups to get your lats fired up before the bend over all. You could do that as well. Let's go now. Enough talking. guys so the back is done we're now gonna do uh, one exercise at three sets of real dead flies because you know how you cannot have a full workout with real delts inside back went pretty well as I can say so myself 
and let's do these three sets. small physique update I think it's the second day of my cut officially started of course they're that mini cut of course I'm not yet nowhere lean nowhere near to lean but looking full Guess we will get there at some point. Yeah. Just a quickie one. Okay guys, so we are moving on to triceps right now. We are done with the back, we are done with the rib delts. And we are moving on to two exercises instead of three that we did back in the day with triceps. Three were a lot, I think actually in the arm day I did three not in this day but I, I do them with the whole day so it, it's a completely different thing like back in the day we did them with biceps now we're doing with triceps because we try to get the frequency up so if you think about it I push I hit my triceps a bit even if I don't hit them directly I do the pull I hit the triceps then I do the arm day I hit the triceps again so you hit them directly twice and once indirectly in your week so you can get that focus on the triceps and on the biceps as well that's what I do to get your arms to grow the more you know <laughs> um, let's get it guys three sets many reps <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm out of breath. Second set of dips is done, and I forgot to mention something. The ah, okay, I remember that I'm doing dips body weight this time. I, the ones that saw the previous video when I did the the dips as an exercise, both at the push and sometimes at the arms and delts. I used to do the, that exercise as the first one because it's a compound movement. When I did that, I did it uh, with 10 kg on my back, on my backpack, but I didn't feel it that much. I almost felt like I was pushing weight. Yes, I did the reps, but the contraction wasn't that good and the feeling wasn't good. And it hurt a bit my shoulders as well. And I'm like, okay, so let's trap all that weight back down and try to improve on my form and how I feel it and feel the squeeze more. So. With the body weight it feels 10 times better and it's actually working way 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 better than it did with the extra 10 kg. Okay guys, and to finish the workout off, we're gonna do single arm, dumbbell, overhead extension. Be sure to always do some overhead work in your tricep workouts.
absolute failure. guys this is the workout this is the video I hope you all enjoyed it like subscribe you know what to do uh, let me know what you want to see next probably maybe another workout I don't know write it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one guys peace